No doubt, it was indeed a struggle and a product of effort by some outstanding personalities who even today, history remember them positively. Compare Armando Bello uh, about them, uh, Dr. Nemdazikwe. We regard them as foundation of Nigerian independence. And uh, the motive of these three parties before and towards the independent, the independent of Nigeria is not what the present one are up to. Well, I think um, leadership is all about um, serving the people. And uh, that is where uh, uh, past leaders have uh, made so much contribution. And um, these contributions uh, can be seen from various angles, um, starting from maybe infrastructural development. Uh, there are so many projects, uh, infrastructural projects that were embarked by past leaders that we call them legacy projects, that when you look at them, you, you remember those leaders. Their politics, their policies and administrative style were unique and merely toward building the nation. When you look at, uh, for example, the bridges we have, the road network, uh, the universities that have been created uh, uh, formerly in the regions and now in various states, the f so many uh, uh, federal universities and tertiary institutions that we have in the country. Um, so, so all these massive projects that we are seeing, uh, some of them are what we call legacy projects, which are parts of the legacies left by uh, past leaders. These type of personalities spread across all geopolitical zones and state of the federation depending on the position they held. Alaji Seu Shagari does not build a house when he was a president. And the single house he has before being a president when he was a teacher was still the remaining house he was with. Only when Babangida, President Baba, Babangida decided to build a house for him. In Kano, people such as Abakarini Audubako and others will remain in the memories of many people owing to their selfless service to the nation. Let's take an uh, educational policy for, for, for Muhammad Abu Bakr of blessed memory. He did a lot for education in Kano State and Jigawa. He was the first governor that ever sponsored Kano indigenous, young Kano indigenous to European countries and America. And now they are professors and they are one of the best uh, uh, health practitioners around the world. In Kano, massive infrastructural drive by the, the Audubogwa administration, the pioneer governor of Kano. You can see built dams. Up till now, we are talking about um, maintaining those dams, which is even becoming a challenge, or became a challenge to successive government, governors. They are people of high integrity, respect, honesty, and full of patriotism. Today, Many good citizens wish that those leaders will have been copied instead of mere making reference to them. There are a number of factors that serve as constraint to leadership style today, where honesty is regarded as best policy, where the focus is to serve the people, not otherwise. You find out that uh, there are these uh, contributions made by past leaders and the society sometimes recognize them by naming roads, uh, buildings, uh, edifices, infrastructures after them uh, so as to, 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 to maintain that legacy that they live and to also inspire uh, future leaders uh, that uh, all sacrifices, all legacies do not go in vain. Some believe that it is not late even though it is top. Nigeria with collective effort from families, traditional and religious leaders, will be better again. Things have changed a little bit, uh, but um, um, some of them, the motivating factor in, in leadership, like I said, is just for they are there to serve uh, the, the society, uh, not to serve themselves. Uh, so, and then sometimes, even if there are political differences, we have seen cases whereby those political differences were kept aside uh, to, to, to foster this or move the society forward.